Welcome to Down the Road We Go with David Shirley. And this morning, this is a in the shop series video. What we're going to do is replace our TV antenna with this Windguard Air 60. That way, we won't need to turn the knob and spin the antenna around trying to find stations. And if there's one to the east and one to the west, we won't have to rescan it every time we want to change channels. It should pick up everything out of your scan. Now, it comes with this dome. Uh, which has got the antenna it also has a AM FM radio antenna in it but we're not going to mess with that we don't listen to radio that much so uh, the antenna that's in in it already is doing fine but it does come with an, uh, enough cable although I think there's enough cable already in it and a new power supply so we're probably going to hook that up just to have the new power supply so the first thing is we've got to take the old antenna off the top and find out where we know where the power supply is, we have to pull it out and undo the cable so we can find where the cable comes in, so let's take a look at that. Well, the next project is to get rid of this old TV antenna that doesn't work worth a diddly, and we're going to put a 360 degree antenna up here where we don't have to move it at all. It's just going to sit here and find all the stations it finds. So of course the first chore is to get all the goo off the last person put on it. And you know, there's a difference between gooing it up so it doesn't leak and gooing it up so you'll never get it off. But anyway, we're working on it. So we'll work on this and get it off and find out where that cable goes down to because we're probably going to have to hook this one into the new one and find out where that goes because we want to drop down a Wi-Fi cable in there too. So hmm, here we go. Okay, well. Yeah. All we gotta do is just peel all the rest. We really don't have to peel this off. I can see right inside there, Shirley. Oh, really? Yep. Cover all this, all the holes up. Yeah. Yeah. Try to get this as flat as you can, as clean as you can. Make sure it sticks down real good. No, I'm fine. Now that uh, that other antenna we're going to put on here is about that big around, so it'll cover this all up, and we'll glue that one down too. Make sure this stuff's down because if it if it's down real good, it'll never leak. Plus that big, it's gonna sit here and we'll put stuff around it. So there we go. Here we go. We're inside the motorhome. We've already taken the cover and the knob and what turns it off from up there, and uh, we don't need that anymore. But we've got to find a way to cover the hole. So let's look at the hole. There's the hole right there, and. So we'll have to figure a way to cover that hole up so it doesn't look so nasty. Okay, besides cleaning that or uh, covering that hole up, we had to find out where everything came in. And this is the closet above the door here. And this is where it comes in. If you can see the cable 
right up there so it comes through the roof right through that right there now we're going to drill another hole in there because we're going to bring our wi-fi into the same hole this is the panel where the power supply goes and it'll all go back up in there um, we just have to get everything uh, taken off up above take the old off and then use the same cable and stick it to the new one so we need to get started at that to get this project done. We're also, like I said, this is where our Wi-Fi is going to come down in, uh, right next to that cable. Well, we have decided to switch the way we're doing things here. Uh, we were going to mount this up on the top of the RV, and then we would just do this every time we wanted to pick up the Wi-Fi antenna. But that would be a pain because we'd have to get up there and do it. And then I was still going to do it because that's the only way I could figure out. And then Shirley reminded me that, gee, we have this old antenna that we, you know, came off of something that we had. And uh, why don't we use that? Well, we didn't have all the parts. But I took the head off, the antenna head off because we didn't need that. Mounted the Wi-Fi antenna up here got it strapped on real good the only problem is we don't have the parts down in here to make this go up and down so we had to order those so this has been sitting here waiting for that so we finally have the parts in so now we're going to go ahead and put the parts in the antenna and uh, see make sure it works and everything and and start installing it on the RV this will be on the motor home okay we've got all the parts we need here to make this work we need the handle this is the part we were missing. It goes up down in here. That's what, uh, you know, you screws it up and down. And here's the inside parts. We use that on our other camper, so we need to replace those also. We won't put those in today, but what we're gonna do is put this in, attach the handle to it, attach the handle to it, make sure everything's hooked up. We've got the network cable that we're gonna run from that we're going to run from here down to here and then it'll loop around it won't go down this hole that's where the antenna would normally go we'll just plug that up uh, it's going to have to come it's going to have to come over to another spot on the on the RV top we'll show you that when we get up top so let's see if we can get this thing here and get it working There's the two parts we need and the cap goes on the top. We'll have to cut this off after we get it in in the motorhome. So first we're gonna put this on. Since we've changed directions um, and we we're going to use a regular antenna that we've modified for our Wi-Fi we have to open this hole back up and then we're going to place that in there make sure it's in the middle and uh, take it from there so let's go cut the hole back out again so now we just kind of wrap the tape around there and now we're going to put some of the sticky stuff on there and stick it down
I just want to make sure it's in the center of the hole. Okay, so it's pretty much in the center? Okay, that's all I need to know. All right, thank you. Okay, we've got this uh, ready to bolt down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to screw it down, and but not tighten it up all the way because we're going to pull the motorhome outside in the sun tomorrow and let that really get uh, gooey, and then we'll crank it down and then uh, goo it with the die core. So let's get it. We'll get this putting the screws in. Okay, as you can see we have the crank up installed for the Wi-Fi antenna so it's cranked up all the way now we had it down it's cranked up all the way let's go outside and see what it looks like and there it is well, that's pretty high up in the air really and uh, so we'll check it out after we get everything where we want it up there and hook everything up and make sure it works in the stand-up position. So we'll leave it in that position right now. Well, we're checking the TV on the new antenna and so far it's got six more channels than I can get on the house on the antenna. I can only get two or three if it's pointed one way then I gotta spin it around. So, so far it says six digital channels. So we'll see what happens next. It should bring us up, uh, that should be th three of them north and two or three of them south so if that worked out then we know that that TV antenna is working pretty good and it's worth the money it's supposed to get 360 degrees whatever's around us uh, what you hear in the background is that the generator I had to run a generator because I'm outside the shop so I'll be back in a second once it's finally found them all Well, so far, looks pretty good. TV works. It doesn't get the channels up north, but they're like about 60 miles away. So uh, being in back of all the trees it's in back of, it's not doing that bad a job. It's getting some from south uh, Kentucky. Pretty cool. Working. Well, we got everything done. We've got the... Wi-Fi antenna up here. We've got the Wingard Air 360 for the television. It's all uh, screwed down and glued. And then the cable is all screwed down with cable straps. And put some die core on it so they won't leak. And then down into the cabinet there. So we're all done, ready to go. Everything's uh, closed up and Got the die core all over it so it shouldn't leak. We hope we'll keep an eye on it though. So thanks for watching this episode of In the Shop as we put our Wi-Fi antenna and our new Air Guard Air 30 Air 360 up on the roof. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. If you're new to our channel or you just want to make sure you see all our videos, make sure you click the little subscribe button on our logo and make sure also you ring the little bell and that way YouTube will notify you whenever we put up a new video. So thanks for coming along for the ride as down the road we go.